Hey guys, it's Grant with anglingauthority.com and I'm going to do a quick video and show you guys uh, what's inside the box. So let's uh, open it up. I've already cut the tape and I'm pretty eager here. So what do we got? Let's see. What's in the box? So we got our little uh, card with our specs. That's pretty cool. It tells me the prices too, so I like that. What do we got? We got a decal. Just put that out here like that. We got tackle grab Pro Pointers. This one's with uh, Travis Moran. We got late summer, early fall. Good tips here for you, you guys. Uh, potential areas, base to use. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Spit and wah. I've got, actually got, uh, I think I have two, uh, two of these in my frog box. So this is a really good addition. This is a really cool uh, frog. Has a big profile, has a popper mouth on it. Also, got, it's got a couple of cutouts to do a little bit more bubbling. I'll show you guys, I'll open it up and show you guys after. What do we got? Canon lures. Looks like a sexy shad. <clears throat> what is this? Made in China. A little crankbait here. That's always good in the fall, eh? What else we got here? Excite baits. We got a green pumpkin. Black flake looks like a craw. Nice, nice little flipping craw. That's pretty cool. A river to sea. We got uh, what is it? Standing Yabby 100. So it's a four pack. It's like a, a craw bait with a hook. Uh, let's see. These are straight out of Japan, eh? Really cool. And that's it. So here we go. That's what we got. Uh, so let's start with the frog. This is the Spit and Wah. This is the 55. There she is. So, hollow body frog bait. Uh, has a little bit of a, I don't know if you guys can see it, a little bit of a keel, keel shape. Uh, this is a really cool frog because um, he's got three in one, Three actions: you can uh, you can spit, spit it. Uh, you can chug it along. <clears throat> you can also walk the dog because the, the cup mouth is a little bit. Uh, uh, you know, it'll sit with the cup mouth a little bit high like that. So you can actually walk the dog with this one. Um, you can see the slits in the side, right here. So what happens right there and there? What happens when you pop it? You'll get a, a more of a bubbling, gurgling action. Um, really cool. Uh, has a nice long, uh, two nice long legs, so you can trim it down to what you want. And again, uh, you know, it's a frog, so you want to use a frog rod. Highest gear ratio reel you have. Braid, uh, 50 to 65 pound braid. Throw this thing and hold on. This is a really nice color. It's like a, a shad color. I believe this one, this color is called I Know It. So that's a really cool bait right there. Nice white belly, you'll get a lot of use. Can't go wrong with a frog, right? Let's talk about this crankbait. Let's see, open it. It's hard to do with one hand. Okay, here we go. Set aside. Ouch, 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 ouch. So, first thing, big rattle, super, Super sharp, sticky hooks. Uh, this crankbait uh, from Canan Lures, it'll dive uh, three to seven feet. Um, it's a nice uh, shad color. So, uh, you know, throw this with a crank, uh, crankbait rod, so seven foot, seven half, seven half foot glass, glass rod, crankbait rod. You can do it with a graphite if you have it. Um, I usually do 15 pound fluoro test. Uh, but you can throw it with as little as eight pound if you want. If you want, um, you know, really nice. Uh, deflected off of rocks, stumps, man-made structure. Very retrieve. It's a nice little bait. You're sure to catch fish with this. Really cool. So this is an interesting uh, little craw. This is the uh, Raptor Tail Junior from Excite Baits. These are. Uh, $3, about 3 bucks per pack. This is the Raptor Tail 
Junior. And it's four inch, four inch craw. Uh, it's a great choice, you know, uh, for flipping. Um, but because it's got re relatively nothing up here uh, near the back of it, uh, it's a great choice also for a big jig trailer. Uh, if you're going to swim it, this is great. It's got the, you can see it's got the ribbing here, so it'll be flapping as it goes along. Uh, really cool, and I really like to swim jigs in the fall, especially with a big fat trailer. Uh, so this is a, looks like something that's very viable. Uh, you can you know easily uh, pitch or flip this uh, you know with a bullet weight uh, four aught um, offset worm hook uh, or you know extra wide gap hook easily. Uh, great for flipping around weed lines um, as the bass move out in the fall. Throw this around. You're definitely going to get them. This is a good color, green pumpkin, black flake. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. I mean, just look at that. It's a really cool craw. That's really cool. Good addition to the box. This one's an interesting one for me. Um, here, let me just open it. And I'm going to talk a bit about it as I try to get this bag open. Uh, so this is the Standin' Yabby 100. I don't know much about it. <clears throat> so I guess the, the most important thing... That I want you guys to realize about this is that it stands up. And I'm just gonna. Here we go. Sucker open. Pull one out. Show you guys. And this makes a lot of sense now. So, so this is gonna stand. Allegedly stand like that. So it's. Feels like it has air pockets, so it'll fall down and sit up like this in the in the defensive position. So great. I mean, it's a nice big fall size. I mean, just early fall size plastic. Sharp hook. Ouch. Nice. Uh, Good choice for flipping. Um, you know, craw crawdads, perfect for bass. They love this. Um, and yeah, you can feel the, the claws are. Um, I, you, know, you can you can feel the claws are, are empty. So what'll happen is, I guess I'm, I'm guessing, and I haven't tested this out yet. I'm guessing is that it'll stand upright. I would probably throw this a seven foot, medium heavy or heavy. Uh, I think the key for this one is going to be fast action tip, so you can feel the bass run up to it and pick it up. Um, you know, I would probably throw it with a braid. Um, maybe if the bass are a little skittish or if you have really clear water, maybe a, a floral. And uh, you know, again, throw it along, um, you know, rock piles. Uh, let it sit, pop it maybe couple inches off the ground or a couple inches off the uh, uh, floor of the, the lake or whatever it is your fish just pop it up and let it drop and I think that uh, you'll get uh, huh, the eyes pop out but I think that you'll get uh, some fish with it really cool bait it's got a lot of appendages too I mean you can see it's got a lot of things for bass to chew on so it looks like a good bait so there you have it guys. So I got the Stand in Yabby, the Excite Bait, Raptor Tail Jr., the Spit and Wah Frog, this is the 50, 55, and the Canon Lures Crankbait.